What? That's the end? Okay. Audio by a shell in the pit. I don't know who that is. Wait, the music was made by one person? Huh? Oh, the fairies turn into new astral beings. Well, we're here. You said you wanted to check in on your friends, right? Just let me know when you're ready to move on. Ready to keep going? Okay, well, let me know. Oh my lord. You're joking, right? Boss, you made it back. We kept... We kept uh, Chandelash safe. It was tough, but the monsters got worse and worse. <laughs> tough for regular witches, but not for us. No, it was really tough, though. I guess it was pretty tough. But then, all at once, they just vanished. It was a miracle. They probably gave up after you fought so hard. Something really special happened, I think. We heard your voice from afar, and, well, it was more than your just voice. It was something huge. A million voices at once, like the song you... The king and the queen, and that's how we met, knew you. And, and all that, everything started singing along. It felt really powerful. Oh, yeah. That reminds me. You actually have a really nice singing voice, Zan. Oh, thanks. It looks like the war is ending. So maybe Chandelish won't need protectors anymore. Yep, it's true. We were talking about retiring masks. We'll be ready to be a regular witch again. I'm not yet. We could fight every crime at home. But I couldn't do anything without you, San. Shucks. It's you. I, I promised to Sylph to sell you again. I capture you and put you back in prison. But now we're in peace negotiations, so your treason counts are currently suspended. I suppose. <laughs> he doesn't have anything to say. Uh, it feels so bizarre, sitting here and talking to the Witch Queen like she's just another person. We spent our whole lives being afraid of you. Get over it. I'm not going to live forever. We don't have time for distrust. I need you to know that my people will have peace out after I'm gone. The Sky Temple was destroyed in the monster outbreak. So it's too important a place to leave like that. Are you going to rebuild it? Yeah, I thought you people wanted the temple. I thought you did. Well, we did. Until you get, it got busted. Maybe we should. We build it together. Yeah. Just like a symbol of our truce. That's a splendid idea. It's hard knowing what to ask here. All we ever wanted from you was to be left alone, I guess. Leaving alone is what you got us into this mess. We're over c our communication design, distressed too, and we lost the concept of true intentions. We need to promise that it won't be alone anymore. We come to here together, and that isn't about to change. Oh, I see. The... <laughs> the... Well, not Patreon. It's like Kickstarter fans. That's why this is so long. Because they had to, they had to put in the Kickstarter fans. So if we coexist peacefully, we won't need to work together. I never thought I'd see the day, but peace talks are finally happening. If only Hala was here to see it. I'm keeping her my intention in my heart and trying to speak in her place. It's never easy with Mother's stubbornish. I suppose it was Hala's challenge as well. Yeah. Next person. The Bat King? Sure. Oh my god, are they gonna make me talk to all these characters? Wayfarer! It's been some time and a half. I'm grateful to be alive after all the went through. I didn't think I'd be able to see you again. And look, the witches are here now too. Everything's changing so fast. But after so much war, that's a good thing. I think I'm ready for some Wayfarer of my own. I think I'm gonna take my banjo and see the world. Anyway, I can, Wayfarer, because there's so much to do, so much to see. What's wrong with taking the back streets? You never know where you won't go. You never shine if you don't go. Oh, really? <laughs> I wanna be like you, Wayfarer. Traveling the world is a song with my heart. Making people go to everything I know is come by the sound of the banjo, and they'll call me special by name, like that guy filled with a banjo. Yeah, that's the dream. That was so scary, I thought the world was ending. I'm glad it didn't. Good thing the hero saved us. She's the coolest ever. I wish I met her when she was here and nobody knows where she is now. She vanished. I bet she wanted to live a normal person. Yeah, it's so humble. Me, I would be want to be famous. I really wonder what she's doing now. I want to be strong like her someday. Did my flower come in handy? 
I said it was to save the world or something you the, the world's to hear, so it must have worked. <laughs> oh, I had pet the jackalope. Uh, Ooh la, looks like we had a special guest in the audience. Now the now that the, op the borders are open again, we hit the road. Oh, the river with my boat. You sailing, man. Like pirates? Not really. But look, I even got a new accordion. Do we still remember our song, too? That's right. Would you like to hear it? Okay. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. And a one, and a two, and a three, and a four. <laughs> the crappy song that I made. <laughs> That's terrible. I'm not smashing my Cody in this time. They're really expensive. All right then, amigo. Is there no way to get up there? I guess not. All right, next area. The Frog Prince. That was a, is that a girl? Hmm. Ooh, hoo, hoo. it's my muffin. Are you ready to move back with Mama? No. What a shame. Your father come home after all these years. He settled completely right away. Now I can't get him to leave. I couldn't even make him say hello. Well, that's okay. I don't even remember what he looks like. Muffin. That's so sad for me to think of. You grew up without a father's love. Maybe that's why you turned out like this. <laughs> muffin, you're very strange. You know your Mama loves you, right? I wish you'd saw you more. Then you'd never say it, but I'm sure your father is ashamed of never seeing you. We should all have a meal together some tune. Be a family again. After we all this world in Muffin? Let's not... Wait, how old is she? I just realized his his mother is like a grandmother. Is, is Zen like 35? Hehe, <laughs> you came back. Me and Doggy are doing great. We never have time to get together. Wait, Toby Fox? Selected music, what? What is this? What is this music on the right? Is that inspired music? It might be. Yeah, that, that seems more like it. Thanks so much, I mean, I talk about myself. This is, these are very long. Nobody in town to leave me. Now everyone does. Pet, pet the dog. It's hard feeling worthless, and it's when nobody cares about you because you can't do what they control, but you can control what you people. Doggy gave me something to care about. I never had that before, but once I did, I made it feel so cared for. Wait, is he, did he want to talk again? Yeah. Now that Alara is opening the lab, I think I'm going to go out there. I never did any science before, but now I want to learn. Being Alara makes me feel special. Feels like we can do anything with her. The dog? The Alara? <laughs> Got a new job now. I never want to wear that crumpy hat mask again. I'm finally put into my science degree to use. The factory has a lab, haven't you heard? We're developing stuff that's going to change the world. The Baron may have some wacky ideas about toys, but the guy who really knew how to build a collection line. His stuff's going to take us far. This isn't going to be a crappy factory anymore. Chimess is going to be at the far front of technology. I can feel it. Oh, what's the, the banjo guy? You've returned. We've been toying away here. Our quest to destroy the factory. We had to create something and place it. Miss Astronomer, that is. She had such a grand vision of the city. I couldn't help but taken up by it. See, Miriam is here as well. Part of me wishes to speak with her again, but... I suppose things are... Awkward. Miriam and I are on separate journeys. I can't see it now. It was never meant to be. If only it would be a wisdom to she. My heart still burns for her, but in a respectful, non-romantic way. I'm the cold, the steadiest Crimis city was. Miriam's passion burned with a lout, but now people of the Crimis free, and our dreams, which frozen underneath, can finally thaw and bloom here once more. It is a new life for us all here. Wow, he's still talking. Oh, it's bugged. I can still talk to him, but it doesn't do anything. 
Oh, that guy's creepy. Ah, my old cohort. How did you do? With the Baron stepping down from the factory, I've seized means of... I've... <sighs> of course, there's a communist joke. I've seen the means of toy production. I've repurposed my new laboratory. There's so many much machinery and so much potential. Used to manufacture new technologies to the benefit of everyone. That's my vision for this place. One by one, all the stairs went out. Until one, none were left. And I was watching the sky for that moment. It all set a service on my sign. I was sure to have the world coming to an end. But then, all at once, the sky was filled with completely new stars, new constellations, new galaxies, and a new home for us all. I don't know how to exist, how our lease with existence is extended, but that makes me reconsider what I was doing with mine. That's what taught, brought me here. Yeah, that's true. Did I restart the universe, or did I just extend it like a thousand years, or a billion years, or a trillion years? Like, what did that actually do? They never really explained it. They say the sky, the stars guide with their destinies. That some can be born into a lucky star, and some not. I think that's a load of quark, shark quark. <laughs> Part of my language. But there's something poetic about a new sky, about new sky of stars, isn't there? The old stars that guided us are dead, and now our destinies are in our own hands. We just, we, we get to decide what becomes of this new world for. Maybe that was always true, but now I believe it. I hope to create a good future. So was the whole universe just this one world? I'm pretty sure that's actually possible. Because we, did we kill the all the all the stars? Were they? I don't. They didn't really explain the lore of this series. <laughs> uh, that's just a, um... That's just a guy in a trench coat. Matey, it's been so long. Have you been adventuring? We've been on some yarn of your own. The new maids have joined the R crew now. We're better than ever. You've got to sing with us soon. I came to this world with a dream. To, uh, to captain my own pirate crew, and when I first saw me mermaid, I had one more dream, you see all of my life just to make things real and now they are it's something special matey i feel blessed every day yar this cruise be more than a crew we are family a family that's close together and those are my dreams come true i want to foster the dreams that makes it all good captain do remember matey to my family you're always be like a weird cousin or something what i'm saying is you can come back anytime we love you matey what a nice pirate friend Woo, me and my girls are taking over the ship. No more hiding on the islands for us. We're adventurers now. Pretty great. The captain is an alright guy, turns out. He was really weird when we first met, but he kind of chilled out. It's like that pirate propona, and I also like being a pirate. It's a cool new direction for us. What's next for us? I don't know. I like to travel the world, see something besides the ocean. I hear there's an ocean, there's other ocean types. They're called like rivers or lakes or something. Who sound pretty chill. Those do sound pretty chill. Youngin, you made it back in one piece? Mm, I was worried. You'd think you had it in you. Kids like you don't go as far in this world, at least I thought so. Bet you see, see some things now, and maybe your old crusty is old Lou now, heh. <laughs> no, you definitely ain't. Ain't one to leave one the ship too much, but the sky's been putting on quite a show today. Ain't seen nothing like it. Y'all gonna be grateful for the last miracles. The old bard of 10,000 feet, 11,000 feet is back. The business has been going well. All uh, these bozos have been worrying about mermaids have been keeping the bone flow flowing. Money ain't gonna make itself. I mean, it, it had been all business, but mostly. I care so much about this crew. I want them to have good lives, you know? That's why I gotta be the last one to keep her eyes on the beans, just like my new job. Keeping us going this long. It's been so great to see you. I've had a whole coffee crew with later. Or, or, right, you and the coffee don't mix so well. Well, I've heard about this new thing called decaf if you like terrible things yeah right why isn't it the silly one back from all just kidding the truth is you're so cruel as silly as they come I've been fooling myself denying the truth the obvious truth it's good to have you back so actually I've been thinking about quitting coffee yeah I don't sweep great on it it makes me feel anxious all the time I haven't been had any today the sky's exploding with golden stars so it hasn't been too hard to stay awake <laughs> yeah that's true I mean, the sky's exploding. The world ended. We'll stay awake for three right, days. Let's go to the last place. Actually, I don't know if this is the last place. I don't know where I'm going. The Sea King. I can't believe Delphi's still here when we left. It really seems like this was the, the over for this place. I'm glad. I went over to visit my mom's grade. I wish I could talk to her again. 
I've been around the world now and playing my accordion just like her, and I think I'm pretty good too. I wish I could go sew her. I wonder what she would think of all of it. The world has changed somehow, didn't it? There was a time where everything was bleak and it felt like all the spirits of the world were close, but it's not like that now. It feels more stable now, peaceful even. I don't think I used to have the same fear now, but I do miss having her so close. Well, I do know she's out there. I just hope I made her proud. Ace! Hey, who knew you find you done in Delphi again? We didn't even think you'd ever be back here. And you need her. Hey, but it's a miracle that happens. Delphi's shining brighter than ever, you know what I'm saying? We're back from the venture from around the world. It feels like a spirit is back, eh? We're gonna play some shows I never for gonna forget. Looks like your journey's about to end too, huh? You guys sing with us again? What'd you say? Totally, but uh, not right now. I haven't been home in forever. I ain't wanna have some rest, but I promise I'll be back. I hold you to that, Ace. The whole band miss you like crazy. I couldn't stay at Adelphi for too long, eh? She's my town. I gave me so much growing up, and eh? Maybe I've been over the world now. But it wouldn't have gone anyway for her. I owe a lot of this place and I'm gonna give it back. Cause I ain't gonna I'm sure somebody needs my help too. Feels good to be back in Delphi. It's the same class as Temp as before, but I've gone through a transformation. I played my heart on the world stage and I soared like an eagle. Thing that reminds me of how far I've come. I have to thank you again for bringing me the band together. Manny's been through rough around the edges, but he gets his gigs and Nash is a downer, but they are their accordion sings like an angel, and then there's me. We'd make such a great team together. You sing with us today, won't you? Having a bit of a comeback tour. Come with a bit crazy raven again. Oh, it's so perfectly in circle. And after that, who knows? Feels like I'd go anywhere now. I'm sure it will. Oh my god. So much talking. Welcome back to Delphi. Remember that? It's the melody you wrote the candy shop, Whisper. I wrote some new lyrics in case you never saw again. It brought kids in the shop like crazy, just like I wanted. Thank you. Welcome. Oh. What? Oh, okay. I guess that's it. Next area. How many fairies? Is he the last one? No, there's more, isn't there? The Bird King. <laughs> the Pelican King. Oh, it's Grammy. Oh, it's so good to see you. Miriam's told me so much about her. She did? Oh my, yes, she cares about you so much. You made her kind of a warmth she's never had before. She might not tell you that, but it meant so much from her. She's such a lonely girl, you know. Thank you for being there. I had no idea I'd ever see you two again, of course, I hoped. But the situation was so hopeless. I really wanted it was for Miriam to see the world and make a friend before she lost the chance to ever do the things. I'm so much grateful for that. I feel I am for the world that's saving. I knew where I was right when we met. That's when you were something special, as the world can be so dark. We need courage to smile, and I look out for the last, and there's so many of the people in the help, Wirium, who need a bit of love. What? Okay. Oh, the human! Oh, the human. Oh, we met as some okay humans. We, the witch kept us safe and the world's falling apart. We think we... the humans might be okay. Only starting through, though. They might still be terrible. I think they're okay. <laughs> so to forgive after what happened to us, that human definitely terrible, with the scarf and the lightning sword. I think I know. I think I know who you're talking about. You know that one? They're so bad. Mm. Humans. <laughs> God, go switching back and forth from that is a tard. Humans aren't really that like that, I promise. Or definitely not all of them. Sometimes we can be jerks, but there's some good ones too. Please don't give up on us. All right, looks like the area is getting thinner. What? You're leaving just like that after bringing your friend all this way? That simply won't do. Ask if they'd stay for dinner. You want to stay for dinner with us? That sounds very nice. <laughs> and... Mm, the Kitty Queen. Oh.
Oh, I guess I'm home finally. So, this is goodbye, huh? Just for now, but we're gonna hang out all the time, right? I hope so. Ooh. I'm tired. Me too. We came a really long way together, didn't we? Yeah. Thanks for everything saving the whole world for me. Yeah. Thanks for being my friend. Okay. Bye. Go home, it says. I'm gonna go on an adventure now. <laughs> Is this my house? Was my house always in the outskirts? I don't really remember that. Oh god, I can finally take off my shoes. They smell so bad. Oh. I like how he's singing, practicing on the inside. Oh, he's sleeping. That's what it is. The end. <laughs>